Welcome back guys. In the last video I have told you how you can execute a program using command prompt. Now in this video I will discuss some terms with you. These terms are very important and most of the beginners they don't pay much attention to these terms. Now these terms are very useful as we move on in our programming. The terms which we are about to discuss are statement, block, expression, literals, variables and identifiers. Statement are one or more line of code that are terminated by a semicolon. Like we type system.out.println and we terminate the line or we end the line with a semicolon. So that line becomes a statement. Block is a multiple line of code that are enclosed in bracket. Now let me show you the difference between a block and statement. Let's open our first program. This is our first program. Now from this bracket to this bracket, it is a block. And inside that block, this line of code, which is terminated using a semicolon is a statement. Expression is a line of code, which include variable, operator and method invocation. It is written according to the syntax of language. Like we write int a equals to zero and then the semicolon. Now here int is a data type, a is a variable, equals to is a operator and zero is the value which we have given to the variable a. So we have invocated a method. So this is the expression. Literal are the token which do not change. They are constant. They are the data values that appear in a program. Like if I write int a is equals to 10, then this value of a 10, it is fixed. 10 is a constant. Its value remains same. We can change the value of a, but value of 10 is fixed. Variable is a name value holder. It is used to store the values. I will again take the example int a is equals to 10. Now here a is a variable and it is used to store the values. Identifier are used to represent the name of class method, variable and etc. Identifiers are like among your friends you have a unique identifier that is your name. Similarly class name, method name are also identifiers. They are used to identify a particular class or a method. That's all for this video. If you like my video, then please share it, subscribe it, keep learning, keep rocking.